Hey everyone, and welcome back to For Real, your go-to channel for the latest tech tips and tricks. I'm your host, Anna, and today we have an important topic to discuss, one that affects many iPhone users out there. We'll be diving into the concept of iPhone lock to owner and how you can fix it. So, if you're one of those unfortunate victims, stick around because we've got you covered. Attention viewers, before we proceed further, I want to inform you that the unlock services we'll be discussing in this video are primarily available in first world countries. If you're located in a different region or prefer not to utilize these services, don't worry. We've got an exciting opportunity for you. We're giving away 250 unlocks every week to our dedicated viewers. All you need to do is follow these simple steps. Like this video to show your support. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest tech content. Comment below with your iPhone model, for example, iPhone 8, your IMEI, and your country. By completing these steps, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly Unlock giveaway. It's our way of saying thank you for being a part of our community. Now let's continue with the tutorial and explore alternative solutions for unlocking your iPhone locked to an owner. Remember, if you're unable to access the specific unlock services we discuss, you still have a chance to win an unlock through our weekly giveaway. Let's dive back into the tutorial and explore additional options to resolve the iPhone locked to owner issue. First things first, let's understand what iPhone locked to owner actually means. This term refers to a situation where an iPhone is locked to a specific Apple ID or iCloud account, preventing anyone else from accessing or using the device. It's a security feature implemented by Apple to deter theft and protect your personal data. Now, you might be wondering, how did my iPhone end up locked to an owner I don't recognize? Well, there could be a few reasons. Perhaps you bought a used iPhone and the previous owner didn't properly remove their Apple ID from the device, or in some cases, it could be due to a forgotten Apple ID password or an accidental activation lock. The good news is that there are ways to fix this issue, and I'm here to guide you through the process step by step. So let's jump right into it. Step one, contact the previous owner. If you purchased a used iPhone and it's locked to someone else's Apple ID, try reaching out to the previous owner. Explain the situation and kindly ask them to remove their Apple ID from the device. In most cases, they should be willing to assist you and follow the necessary steps. Step two, Apple support. If you're unable to contact the previous owner or they are unable to help, it's time to get in touch with Apple support. They have dedicated channels to assist users facing such issues. Provide them with all the necessary information about the device and explain your situation. They'll guide you further and provide solutions specific to your case. Step three, proof of ownership. In some cases, Apple may require proof of ownership to unlock the device. This could include providing a purchase receipt or any other documentation that proves you are the rightful owner of the iPhone. Be prepared to provide this information if requested as it helps ensure the security of your device and protect against potential unauthorized access. Step four, alternative solutions. If the previous steps didn't yield the desired results, don't worry, there are alternative solutions you can try. Some third-party services specialize in unlocking iPhones, but proceed with caution. Make sure to research reputable providers and read reviews to avoid scams or potential damage to your device. Always prioritize your security. Remember, the process of fixing an iPhone locked to an owner may vary depending on the specific circumstances, but these steps should give you a good starting point. It's always important to reach out to the right channels, like Apple support, to ensure you're following the correct procedures. Well, that's it for today's video, folks. I hope you found this information helpful and that it provided you with some clarity on the topic of iPhone locked to owner. Remember, knowledge is power, and now you have the tools to take action if you find yourself in this situation. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tech content. Also, feel free to leave any questions or comments down below and we'll do our best to assist you. Thanks for watching For Real and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay tech savvy.